we're walking uh, here in these trails in East Texas hoping for a snake, so uh, keep you guys posted. Okay, so the strategy is uh, walk the trails and uh, see if there's something just on the trail or on the side. Or we're just going to flip some logs on the side of the trail. So what we're doing right now is uh, walking to our cotton mouse spot, but we might see a snake on the way there. Just to give you a look at the habits that we're walking through. There's a tarp. Hopefully there's like a water snake or a cotton mouth in this. So uh, I'm gonna look around. First snake of the day, it's a Gulf Coast Ribbon Snake. He's not as blue as the other ones I catch. Let me just get a better hold of him. Okay, so what I was saying is, uh, this is a Gulf Coast Ribbon Snake. He's not as blue as the other ones, but I mean, his, uh, the stripe running down his back is a little more reddish, but, uh, a lot more darker. And I mean, he's just the darker individual, so, uh, yeah, Gulf Coast Ribbon Snake, the most common snake in, uh, East Texas. So now he's really chill, you know? He bit me once, but... Yeah, so ribbon snakes are the most common snake in the area. Um, they're fish eaters, they're frog eaters, they... I like to hang out near water, you know, where all that stuff is. Uh, they share habitat with water snakes, and uh, yeah, overall, really cool snake. Uh, remember the pattern if you live in the Houston area, just so you know when you see one. If you see one, you know it's a ribbon snake, not a cottonmouth. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna let this guy go. Two are from well this one's from last week this one's from right this one's from right now the reason you bleed so quickly is because of the anticoagulant in their saliva there's a green and all right there there he is yeah he's gonna jump on the tree Yep, he's gone. Alright, second snake of the day. It's a decays brown snake. Just like the ribbon snake, really common. Not much to say about these guys. They're kind of plain looking, just brown. These are the snakes you'll probably see in your garden, you know. Um... They get confused for baby copperheads for some reason, and they look nothing like a baby copperhead. Uh, I put a picture of a baby copperhead I found last week, and yeah, you can see they look nothing like each other. So I mean, cool snake. They they don't really bite. I've never had one bite me. Some individuals will uh, open their mouth, you know, to try to scare you. Usually the bigger ones, but they they usually never bite people at least
nice. We're gonna put him back under his log. Look at the size of him. He's a good size. He was under this one. Let's put these. Okay, uh, third snake of the day, rod banded water snake. And I have had these on my channel, but let me get to it better. Alright, so I've had had these on my channel, but I mean, terrible footage. But here's a good one. This is a baby. He's not, he bit me once, but I mean, he's being nice. Rod banded water snake, oh, he bit me again. Oh, now he's biting me. No, broad brand new water snakes get confused for copperheads and cotton mouse. They get confused uh, because they're in water and you know, when people see a snake in the water, they automatically assume it's a cotton mouse. And they get confused with copperheads because the color is kind of similar to copperhead, copperhead, but the pattern is different if you look closely. Well, the underneath, pretty cool. Let the sky go. Oh my god, bro. Chill. Alright, you're free to go.